Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn Uprising by Muse. So we're going to do that keyboard part, uh, just kind of arranged for guitar. It's not very difficult. It's still single, you know, melody lines. And then we'll take care of all the guitar parts as well too. So we're in drop D tuning, so make sure you get your low E string, tune it down to D, and you'll be ready to go. So I have it on the neck pickup just to kind of, for this keyboard part, just to make it sound a little bit more like that part. So anyway, we'll take a look at that. We're going to move into this first note by sliding into the 17th fret on the first string. Then 13. Then 14 on the G. And 15. All right, then just jump up to here, shift up to the 17th fret with that same finger. And you're going to pull off 17 to 15. And then, and then slide back down to 14. All right, from there we have this. All right, so that's starting on the same top 17th fret. Now the 12 this time, we're doing an A major arpeggio here, then uh, 14 on the B, 14 on the G. Then slide into 18 on the high E string. Then we're going to do the same lick, go up to the 20th fret, pull off to 18, and slide down to 17. So we have this. All right, now we're going to start playing straight through those same arpeggios. All right, so that's 17 on the high E to 13, then 15 on the B, 14 on the G, then back up to that 15, back to the 13, and up to the 17 again. So we went all the way down and back up. And then you're going to come back down, skip to the 15th fret now on the B. All right, now slide into the 18th fret on the high E. And you're going to go 17, 15, 17 on the high E. All right, and now we're going to go all the way through the other arpeggio, which is going to be A major arpeggio. Now that was 17, then 12 on the high E, then 14 on the B, 14 on the G, then back up to that 14 on the B. Back to the 12, back to that 17, and this time you're going to skip over to the third string and hit that 14th fret. That's going to be the last note there. All right, and now we're going to end it with this. All right, so sliding into 15, and then 13, 12, 13. And then we have an actual guitar part, which is this unison bend he does a lot. Uh, within the song, which is at the 10th fret on the high E, and then the 13th fret on the B. You're going to pick those together and bend the 13th fret up a whole step to sound like that note, or match the note you're holding with your first finger. So they kind of come together. So you do that twice, all right, and then you're back to like the synth stuff or the bass stuff. All right, so that whole part, nice melodic keyboard part, happens a couple times, and now you can play it on guitar. So now we have the verse. Let me play through the verse for you. Here we go. All right, and then he just repeats that. So we're just dealing with some octaves here. We have fifth fret on the A, and then the seventh fret on the G. So that's a D note, and it's octave. And if you don't know how to mute octaves, so play them properly, you want to mute the D string, the one in between those strings, with the bottom of your first finger, your, the, your index finger. Just muting that string, holding its note, and then just lightly touching the string underneath it. And then the little finger or third finger can grab that note, whatever you feel more comfortable with. 
Now the rhythm is... So it starts with a down, up, down, up, this, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. One more time. Down, up, up. So in between the downs and ups, you'll see me sometimes do a downstroke where I'm not actually picking the strings. I just go through. So it sounds like this. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. All right, so that's the rhythm he's doing. Now he just moves around basically from the fifth fret octave to the third fret, and then up to the fourth, and then he ends back at the fifth. So you just gotta listen to the, it's just pretty much a melody, and you wanna listen for it to know when to do the change to that, the third fret. So it sounds like this all together. And of course you end it with that same kind of unison bend. And then you're back. All right, from there he just kind of uh, goes into the chorus, which he's gonna start uh, moving away from the the, uh, the octaves, and we're gonna do a lot of power chords. So this was the chorus it's gonna sound like. All right, so we're just dealing with this kind of the same rhythm again, and we're going to be doing the fifth fret power chord, the A string. Then you're going to move everything over to the fifth fret on the D string, seventh on the G, eight on the B. That's still a G power chord. And then move that down to the F power chord. All right, then we're to this A major chord. That's seven on the D, six on the G, five on the B. So you can hit the open A in there if you want. Then we're back to the G power chord, and the F. So you get, do the rhythm half this time, long now this time on the F, and you're just gonna go to a standard A major chord there and it's going to take us back to starting over the chorus. So you start over with this power chord. It's exactly the same. And so there's a passing chord now between this this F and this A major, you play basically the A major chord basically a uh, half step lower. It's completely out of the key, but they just use it as a quick passing chord. And then you're up to that A major. And, the, and as you hit that A through the, the second time through the course, come up and grab those um, unison bends again. All right, so that's pretty much all the parts of the verse, the chorus, and that little keyboard part. So now we have kind of that instrumental section, um, kind of the guitar solo. So let me play through it real quick, and then we'll take a look at it. Here we go.
All right, so that one moves around quite a bit. It's pretty fun to play though. We got a little bit of hybrid picking was what I'm doing on some of that little pedal point lick. So I'll show you what I'm doing there. So we start with the open um, low D string, and then third fret there on the low, on the low string. Then you're just gonna do a legato lick, six, five, six, seven. Pick the first note and then hammer on the next two. Then do the same thing here over on the fifth string at the third fret. And do that four times. All right, and then you have the first time through this little pedal point lick, which is a little bit easier. All right, so what the, the idea here is he keeps going back to this note, the 10th fret on the B string. All right, so he starts it by hitting that note twice. Just a quick down up. And then I, it's just basically playing the notes 13 on the G, 12, and 10. So 13, 12, 10, nine on the G string. And you're gonna play that 10 between each one. So start it twice, then we're gonna continue this by now playing the 12th on the D and then backed up to that 10 and then and the 11. So we have this. And then you can end it with a 12th fret on the A string. So I like to pick that by starting with just down up and then using a downstroke on, on all the melody notes. And the top note, I'm always going to be picking with my middle finger. Because it's a lot more difficult. alternate picket but you can obviously alternate picket if you want all right so now uh, we go uh, to this little octus all right so we have octave at the 13th fret on the a string with that number it's octave note 13 12 13 12 pick that 12 a couple more times and you're kind of killing it each time and then go in 10 12 maybe slide it some or just pick them both and then you do that unison bend that ends one time through that section and then we the second time is identical except now this pedal point lick is doubled Now I really recommend hybrid picking here because it's really difficult. It's gonna take a lot of crazy picking to do that. So anyway, I'll show you how to pick it if you want to do it. But we're starting with now down up down up. Oh sorry, down up down. Three notes here on the top note that tenth. And now I'm picking the same notes. But the picking is now gonna be for each two, you know, if you want to think of them as kind of two note chords. I'm going to be picking down, then hybrid pick, and pick with my middle finger, and then pick down again. And then do that on each one. Or you can go down, up, down with the pick on each one. That's obviously a lot more difficult when you don't have that pause between each one. Or hybrid picket. Same octave ending. And, and the third time is exactly like the, um, the second time.
And then the unison bend at the end, you're going to do it eight times. And that takes you back to the chorus to end the song. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.